Well, all right, all right. Welcome to Tyrant Slayer Studios. Today we're going to be taking a very close look at Disorderly Product News. DPN, Disorderly Product News. This man is based out of uh, Illinois. Unless I am horribly mistaken, I believe he is based out of Illinois. He is very close to the proximity of Chicago. Dude, don't mess around. He's been at this for quite some time now. Looks like he's uh, started his page here uh, August 8, 2019. Dude's got 12,337,092 views. And that's because he don't play around. All right. Guy's doing his due diligence and he's got a hell of a uh, video portfolio here. Let's just take a quick scan through this here for you. As you, as you can see, this man's been busy for quite some time, and he is not shy. This fine American man, young and full of life, grabs the bull by the horns on a regular basis here, as you can see. He is not afraid in the slightest to uh, get up on in it, invoke his rights, and stand firmly upon them. No matter the tyrant in front of him. He just don't play around. Homie, don't play that. So, uh, I would highly recommend that you uh, check out this man's work. It is, it is very educational. The man's very inspiring. He's inspired me quite a bit over here at Tyrant Slayer Studios. And uh, I would imagine he will never fail to do so. Uh, DPN is a very distinguished auditor in the community. This man will be getting exclusive recognition for me today. Our studios here at Tyrant Slayer Studios reside in the state of Connecticut, the racketeering socialist nanny state. This story here is about a uh, narcissistic, sociopathic Connecticut state trooper, a very egregious one at best, uh, and DPN does a fantastic job detailing this man's uh, this man's position here. He's uh, He's really squeezing in that overtime. You will learn throughout the course of this video why this man is uh, overworking himself and uh, threatening to throw handcuffed citizens off a bridge. You know, typical normal behavior for Connecticut State Police. It's nothing new here. Uh, if you're in the Connecticut area, um, <laughs> I advise you to leave. <laughs> Right away. <coughs> the barbed wire is a very nice touch, representative and indicative of the police state that we are all oppressed within. We're going to be looking at these videos right here, this video, and this video. This will be part one. This will be part two. Both of these videos pertain to a Connecticut state police officer, a trooper, as they like to be called. Don't ever call a state trooper a uh, police officer, by the way. It's like taking a rubber band and, and slapping it on his fucking ball sack. They get all <laughs> Don't ever call a uh, police trooper a police officer because they get all butt hurt. It's like you put a rubber band around their balls or something. They start dancing around and hollering at you and shit. So... Just for future reference, you know, if you're dealing with a, a Connecticut State Trooper, you know, calling him officer or sir or mister or man or dude, when you do that, the sociopathic narcissist will be triggered to an alarming degree and it won't be pleasant for any citizen standing by. So try and refrain from doing that. Uh, but like I said, yeah, we're going to take a look at these two videos here. We're going to give DPN our support. Uh, we at Tyrant Slayer Studios have been uh, tremendously inspired by this man's work. Uh, he's one of many uh, that have inspired me, but the only that will be mentioned and exclusivized today. Uh, take a look at his views. I mean, this guy's, uh, he's no joke. He's, uh, he's plugging away. Uh, 1.2 million views on this one. You know, fifty thou. You know the guys. The guys killing one hundred fifty thou, five hundred thou. 
All right, well, you know, most of this man's content is original content, and you got to tip the cap to him for that because he's putting in the work. So, uh, Tyrant Slayer Studios has absolutely no quarrels, problems, grievance, or uh, contention with uh, putting this man out there. I'm honored to, to be able to share his content on my channel, and you should be honored to see it because uh, it comes with a, a great value. I highly suggest you uh, educate yourself with disorderly product news because you're not going to get this stuff anywhere else. And uh, the man is truly one of a kind. So without further ado, let's get into it. Fire up the popcorn because this is about to get very interesting. Here we go. This is Connecticut State Trooper Matt Spina. A picture of a man who looks average. Your everyday person you pass on the street. Nothing spectacular about him. This here is also Connecticut State Trooper Matt Spina in a far more sinister picture. Who is the real Matt Spina depends on who you talk to. Is this a story about greed and rage? A man who can't control his temper? Or is this a story of a veteran who got a raw deal who in a moment of weakness was fallible and showed his human side. This story will show the power of police unions and how they pillar the coffers of the people. How the politicians we elect are scared of them because of their numbers and unity and are willing to look the other way when two plus two just does not equal four. Buckle up, guys. This is one heck of a story. Cue the music. Disorder. What's going on, guys? This early product news. Here's that same picture of Trooper Matt Spina. As we look, it's actually a picture from a GoFundMe. Support Trooper First Class Matthew Spina. The goal is to raise $50,000. They have already got just under $6,000. Now, what GoFundMe is, it's a virtual donation site to try and raise money. In the case of Matthew Spina, it's presented as somebody that's fallen on hard times. So the goal is 50000 They got just under six. It was put together by Peter Brown. I'm a close friend of Matt's family, Brown says. A well-known well and respected member of the state police and an Army Corps of Engineers veteran. Trooper First Class Matt Spina has been suspended and stripped of his overtime income after a seven times arrested motorist clandestinely video recorded Trooper Spina yelling at him after he impeded his pursuit of a speeder and gave Matt the finger. Matt spent 14 years in the Army and the National Guard as well as 19 years on the job with the state police. The woke police now has their knives out for Matt, please support Matt and his family in his difficult time. All proceeds will go directly to the Spinas. So there you go. That's Peter Brown, a friend of the family, supporting Matt in his hard times. He's been uh, suspended and his overtime has been taken away. The short paragraph in the GoFundMe made mention of a video recording by a seven times arrested motorist see what that recording shows. Hey, can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. 50. The signs. Okay. Well, bye. Do All right. a favor. Oh, give me the weed, too. No, I, I have a... Oh, I, oh, oh. oh. Step out! I have a car. Step out! All right, all right, stop, man. 
your mouth, no problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. All Come right, on. all right, stop. Come on. The blue car yeah, which one? was tailing me yeah. while I was pacing a tractor trailer looking for a motor vehicle violation because okay. the governor's office has gotten multiple complaints yeah. on traffic stops. I know. Okay? I know that. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He Listen, decides to pass me and flip me off! All right, Spino, I'm sorry. Dude. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So the you think you are worried about what I'm doing? Okay. You're right. I know I'm right. Got something to say. Mind your own business. You're How about I start with that? Listen, I'm sorry. No, I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? Listen, I'm sorry. You had a beautiful day. Listen, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
This ought to tell you why our department, instead of having 1,300, has 850 right now. There's a clue to the public. What a bunch of you are. Right there. You want it on paper or not? Is it in the original dispensary container? Turn around. Look at me. Do I look like I'm happy with you right now? Shut your mouth, mind your own business, and be on your way. Don't you ever me again. So now you witness the traffic stop that. Uh, started the GoFundMe. Can't wait for his 14 months so he can get out of this job. The public needs to know what a bunch of a-holes they are. Well, guess what, guys? We are a bunch of a-holes. You know why? Because this human being met Spina last year. Spina made 99000 in regular pay, 97000 in overtime, and another 7000 in miscellaneous pay. Presumably private duty pay another sort of overtime for a grand total of $203,000. He made over $200,000 in 2019. But wait, there's more. There's more. When you have a Make-A-Wish Foundation, kids with cancers, people going homeless and hungry, you're starting a GoFundMe for a man who made over $200,000 last year? And he got his overtime snipped? And that's what he's crying about? But I'm about to show you why this greedy uh, Matt Spina is really, really mad. Because us, the a-holes, the public, set this up for him. Watch. For the Journal Inquirer. Written by Chris Powell on uh, June 1st, 2020. Pension racket may explain state troopers' crazed rage. No wonder state trooper Matt Spina hates his job. Just as he told the motorist he abused with five minutes of crazed rage during a traffic stop in New Haven two weeks ago. A tirade famously captured on cell phone, posted on the internet and viewed internationally. The trooper screamed at, bullied, and threatened the motorist. Uh, uh, bro, have you ever heard of like, you know, drop shipping? Searched his backpack, handcuffed him, and stopped on his possessions before uncuffing him, letting him go without resting or ticketing him for anything since the motor motorist had done nothing, Ill nothing illegal. In the video, Spina expresses contempt for the public. He, po he polices. And he rejoices that he has only 14 months to go until retirement. These remarks invite a review of his payroll records. At the state comptroller, Kevin LeBoy's wonderful open CT inter internet site. It turns out that in at least the last five years, Spina has been working so much that his overtime earnings have nearly equaled or exceeded his base annual salary of a hundred thousand dollars last year spina made ninety nine thousand dollars in regular pay ninety seven thousand in overtime and another seven thousand miscellaneous pay presumably private pay private duty pay another sort of overtime for a grand total of two hundred and three thousand dollars forty percent of spina's earnings of seventy six thousand seven hundred forty four so far this year has been overtime so he is on track for another $200,000 a year if he can maintain some, some semblance of sanity. If his supervisors don't see that overwork may be impairing his fitness, and if he is not suspended or dismissed for his misconduct, which has spectacularly besmirched the state police. Why might Spina drive himself crazy with overwork? Here it comes, guys. It's probably so he can participate in the part of the state government pension state system that has become a racket. The system offers troopers pensions that are payable immediately upon 20 years of service 
and it calculates pension payments by taking half the average of the salaries of a trooper's three highest earning years. So it would behoove you to earn as much as you can because it's going to take the three highest paid years. And it's immediately, you get the pension immediately upon 20 years of service. Thus, Spina seems close to qualifying for an annual pension of about $100,000. The Yankee Institute for Public Policy says more than 1,600 retired state employees already enjoy pensions that large. This is even better than it looks for Spina. For Spina seems to be only middle-aged and achieving pension entitlement by middle age through government employment and not retiring, but instead taking other employment for 15 years or so become a hallowed and lucrative tradition in Connecticut. The pension system is often used not just for a secure retirement, but also for accumulation of great wealth during a second career, long before a beneficiary stops working. But if Spina does not complete 20 years of service as he plans to do next year, he will not qualify for a state pension until he turns 65. In that case, he probably would have to keep working for another 15 or 20 years in a different job. So how will the state police department handle this Spina case? The trooper has been transferred to desk duty while the misconduct is under investigation. Given the department's habit of concealing or minimizing misconduct by troopers, Spina may receive no serious discipline at all. Or the department may delay any discipline until Spina completes the 14 months he needs for his 20-year qualification, thereby making discipline meaningless. The bigger issue here is whether now that the state government's finances have been devastated by the virus epidemic as well as by pension obligations and many state residents have been ruined financially, Connecticut Connecticut cannot afford a pension system that allows its beneficiaries to use it not just for secure retirement but for a life of luxury. Unbelievable. There's people that don't even have jobs because of the bird flu and this guy's get starting a fifty thousand dollar go fund me because he got his overtime snipped and he's on desk duty because he wants to retire after 20 years that means if you started when you were 23 as a connecticut state trooper you can retire at 43 with a hundred thousand dollar a year salary at 43 because it's payable immediately Yeah, yeah. We're a-holes. The public are a-holes. Spina knows it. We're a-holes. He's got us pegged. We're a-holes for letting this go on. For letting 